Hi, my name is Margo. I am about, let's see, two weeks in today. I uh, actually reached my goal for two weeks and decided it. And I came to the grocery store today. Um, it's my first opportunity, and it's a really good experience. Um, I'm going to tell you the number one reason why. Personally, for me, um, there might be a lot of people out there who didn't kind of have a problem eating healthy. I tend to be pretty vegetarian. But a lot of things you don't realize is sodium is like a big killer, and that's something that I really learned and focused on. A lot of um, veggie meats have high sodium, and so that was really killing me in my diet because I was thinking, oh, I'm eating healthy, which I was, but really the numbers didn't add up. And that's the kind of thing that you don't know just from going to certain stores that are health food stores that you're not going to learn. You learn that kind of thing on this tour. And so Jen has made that available through um, East Bay trainers for me to really get some deeper knowledge um, to build on top of that success. And it's only going to fuel my workout that much more. So I'm pretty excited actually right now. And um, you can do that same thing too and actually learn about the things that you want to put into your body. Um, the things that you want to drink, the little things that you think aren't going to hurt you that are really going to screw your whole workup out. And you don't want to, you don't want to waste your time. You know, you, you work out hard. So think about what you're putting in your body and you can learn that here. It's an hour out of your day. So it's definitely Hi, my name is Vina. I just came off of the grocery tour with East Bay Trainers. Um, this tour is so important. I've learned so much from it. Personally, I've been with them for about four months. I haven't been able to come to the tour. And now that I've come, I have learned so much from it. Um, I know what I was doing wrong in my eating. I do honestly believe that I would have doubled my weight loss if I would have came to this tour sooner. Um, it totally shows you how you can put your protein, your carbs together, and what's the right things you're eating, the good carbs you're eating, and the bad carbs. Um, it's a great tour. It's a lot of information that you get from Jen. And, you know, you'll learn so much on how to even put meals, even ideas, because sometimes I didn't know what to eat for lunch or to dinner, and so I get something that's a little bit probably not as healthy. And from coming to this tour, I totally learned how to put together breakfast, lunch, and dinner, and how to work it all and mix it where I'm actually getting energy from it, and it's not breaking my body down. So I recommend anybody that has a chance to come to the tour, definitely, you know, it only takes about an hour and a half out of your day. One Saturday, it's not much time, and you're going to get a higher success rate. Okay. The one that I have, it's got 15 grams of protein, 25 grams of carbs, 6 grams of fat, and one night. I mean, this one is okay, and the balance bar is okay, but I mean, I am like so all about this. If you wanted a variety, and not all of them, so like these aren't good, I'm not a fan of these, um, but these are like, when it comes to price, and stats and everything, just stick with this. Okay. Phenomenal. One. Jen, did you say we could have a one uh, protein bar a day and one shake? And we prefer the shake in the afternoon, like evening time, yes. and then probably the, having the bar uh, before, uh, before, before meals. Before, before, before and before a workout. Okay. And the, the bar is really great for before a workout because bars are pre digested, so they get into your system quicker. So are, so are shakes. But sometimes when people are working out, and almost all of you guys that are doing our, our groups, you're at some point jumping around doing some type of plyometric so I find and some people are different I find I don't like to do plyometrics after I had a liquid shake because it's like it's water bouncing around in my stomach but a, a protein bar is more dense so it's not gonna move around but it's great like I literally have physically walked in the gym and been eating a bar that's how quickly it'll get into your system if you're gonna have something to eat before like let's just say if you work out in the morning and you do a nine o'clock um, training session and you eat breakfast, you could eat it at, you know, 8.15, and it'll be digested, and you can use it, obviously, with a good balance, and you can use it for your workout, no more than an hour before your workout. But I, I like the bars before a workout because they're pre-digested, and they'll get right into your system, and it's almost like an emergency. Is there any that are easier? I don't know, for me, I'm trying to get too forever to get, and I even, I know I was getting the big ones before, so I cut them in half, but... Um, it takes me like forever to get those things down. They to are chew just, them? Yeah, like, yeah. I feel like I'm like. It, I'm and this one's, for, like, this one's worse. This one's worse. I'm this one's like, worse. Like, oh yeah, well, you know what? Hey, yeah. you all have oral fixations. I mean, yeah. you know, I mean, I know I did. It, it takes you a little longer to eat, so you get to enjoy it a little bit more. I mean, this is the one. This one is like really chewy. Um, this one's not as chewy. This one I just don't like the taste of. And then that one is not as chewy. I mean, again, you can maybe try the Myoplex if you're just not really a fan of it, but I just really like the... I, it doesn't get any better than that bar right there. Yes? Question. I found myself just hungry. Because your just, metabolism is yeah, faster. Right? Yeah, and it would it be better to have an additional or a bite of a protein bar than to cheat on something else? What do you mean? 
Well, I'm allowing you to have a bar. Yeah, but I'm saying like another well, one. I'm, 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 a, I'm. Well, right now I'm still awake, like you know, 20 hours a day, mostly. So pick on more real food. Okay. Have yourself another snack. If you're okay. up have throughout the salad. day, yeah. Have yourself. A, well, what's missing from that salad? Well, what if I put, put everything in the salad? What? What's everything? Carbs, protein. Like what? Like give me an example. Uh, what protein would I put in there? Um, cheese. String cheese. Low sodium, low, low fat, mm -hmm. and if you had it at some other point during the day, then you wouldn't have it again. Right. So I mean, it, it, it's just a matter of I would, I don't, I just don't like my clients to have more than one bar a day, mm -hmm. just because for also psychological reasons. Because mm -hmm. then it's like you're like all you want to do is have chocolate, chocolate. Have to stick to the yeah. Shakes. So I want you to try it. No, I want you no. to try and stick to more real food. That's okay. why I only want one and one, <laughs> one for replenishing or repairing muscle at night, and one for right before a workout, okay. or right, or, or like as one of your snacks in the middle of the day. Okay. But if you're up well way food. longer and you're getting more hungry, mm -hmm. that's a good sign. That means you're building or repairing muscle. Mm -hmm. That means that your metabolism is speeding up, but you just have more snacks throughout the day. Okay. Have you? I mean, egg whites is like the best when it comes to ratio to uh, calories to protein, egg whites is the best. Even a protein shake that's 120 calories and has 20 grams of protein, I don't even know the numbers for that. But you got yourself an egg white that's 17 calories and five grams of protein. That's almost a three to one, one to three. I'm not great about